Why do I look like a wreck? Okay. Hello guys. I'm on my way. I just got out of stats. I went to work today at 10. And then I, from 10, from 10 to 1, I was at work from 1 to, 1 to 2.15, I was at, it was a class, and then from 2.15 to 3.15, I have an hour actually, to get ready and go to EY's office, talk to recruiters, put my name through there, network, business casual, boop. I got a 96 on my stats midterm, which is great. I didn't study. I know, horrible of me, right? But I got a 96, so it's fine. I'm happy I was able to retain all that knowledge, perform above average on my midterm with no studying. I just got off a flight. That was the day I just got off, like, I was coming back from spring break, scared out of my mind, but I performed well. And I'm really, I'm really proud of myself. Let me, let me show you guys. This beautiful, look at this beauty. She's perfect, and that's like the only one I got wrong. Which is horrible, but whatever, it's fine. What else was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'm, I'm really proud of myself for pulling through. Don't know how I did it. Also the day I found out that I got into Bane, which is great, which is really good. Bain has a really low acceptance rate, especially in the New York office, so I was really proud of myself throughout that entire day. It all paid off. That was a really good day for me. That was a really, really good day for me. What else? It's been a good semester. It's flown by. It's my last few weeks of being a freshman. My last few weeks being in this dorm. It's so sad. It's horrible. It's all happened so quickly, and I... I've, I've been so thankful for since for every opportunity that's like come my way or that I've I've received. I've worked very very hard this semester. Don't plan on dying dialing it down a bit. I I think I'm at a great pace right now, and I feel like sometimes I overexert myself. I like this. I like being so busy that I can't even think. If I'm not, if I have time to think, I feel I feel like I'm wasting my time. Which is a good and a bad thing, I think. I don't know, this has been five minutes of me just talking. So, I've just been going on a rant. What else do I have to update you guys on? I think that's it. It's just me, this was just me talking. Me talking out of my ass. Hope you enjoyed that. I have to go to the EY meeting now, so. I'm gonna go eat before I go to the I'm gonna walk towards there. Like I can see Hudson Yards from here. So it's not far. It's fine. <laughs> like, fine. I will see you guys later. <laughs> Hola a todos. Um, I am in Central Park after I finished my second interview with uh, PwC and my final interview. It was great. It was a great interview to be completely honest, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Both my interviews went great. My first one I did in Portugal. Second one did it here, awake, bright and early, on my computer, not my phone. It went so great. My first interview went really good. But this one went so good. Like, I felt, I got out of the interview being like, oh my goodness. If I didn't get this, rejection is redirection, but I, I saw in both my interviewers that I made them feel extremely comfortable with me. And I didn't have that effect on people. Well, they just open up. And yeah, they're, I understood by their body language, just by analyzing the way they're talking to me, their tone of voice, once the whole interview changed directions and I kind of took the lead on it. I don't know guys, it was really good. So, you know, I successfully secured the bag with Bane for the summer, but if I got PwC that would be great. My recruiter told me 
this might be the last interview you do ever in your life. So it was very intimidating. But I was so excited. Like, I'm so excited for it. I love the thrill of, of interviews and networking and all, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. I'm excited for the future. I have a lot of individual projects that I'm working on right now that are also great. I leave to London on Monday, I think. Monday for Red Eye, to catch a Red Eye. Um, and I'm excited. I, I mean, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work in London. That's the update, but that's why I'm being one with nature right now because I have not been one with nature. I've been on the computer. I need to pee, but we're gonna romanticize Central Park a little bit. So, so join me in the montage of Central Park that I capture. And thank you for listening and sticking around and me talking for five minutes. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. Okay. Roll the montage. That was probably embarrassing for people walking by to see me just pacing back and forth. But I do that alone in my bedroom anyway, when I have to make a tough decision. So at least I'm doing it in public. Guys, these shoes have really been through a lot. They've been like all over Europe for like, and they're like two years old. Great condition though. internship for this year and next year yeah they called me right now and I was I was recording a YouTube video and then they called me and I was like oh my gosh what's it called the guy that interviewed me yesterday he was the one that called me and I was like hello I was like good morning and I already have PwC saved on my contact so I was like holy shit <laughs> and obviously rejection letters like I've gotten multiple rejection letters and they usually go through email so I was like I don't think they're calling for something bad um, yeah, he was like, I just wanted to call to, and he waited, I know, and he was like, I wanted to call to, um, congratulate you, you really impressed us, and HR, HR was really impressed with all your interviews, and, and, um, just you as an applicant, so you really stood out, I have a secure job for next year. Yeah, no, I, I haven't told him yet, but I'll, I'll tell him. I'll call him. I should need to call you first. I knew he was gonna. He was working. Yeah. Well, good luck. Te amo. I'm so proud of you. And just uh, have a great day today. Thank you, Mama. Te amo. Bye. Bye. It's kind of early in the morning. Yeah, huh? it was. It's 9:30. And they call me and I answer almost immediately and the, the fine gentleman that interviewed me yesterday calls me and he's like You got it! I got it for so this Oh my god! I know! Hey guys! 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 Hey Cry. 
for an hour. Hank wants to get very in. drunk, having a grand old time. <laughs> my boyfriend, Hank. <laughs> um, both of them are pretty well. Both have blue eyes, blonde hair. Both blonde. <laughs> 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 